Workers' Prayer. Good morning, South Africa. Welcome to our Workers' Prayer. God bless you. Let the presence of God, the spirit of faith, enter your heart. If you woke up this morning and you are downcast, you are depressed, you are sad, things are all against you, you feel, you feel like you are, you, you are driving, but the opposite direction because everything is coming against you. We bless you right now to overcome your problems because God, Bishop Gerald, will never let them down. Especially, Bishop, because when they have these many problems in their lives, it brings confusion. The person does not know what to do. Suppose this person has debts, this person has family problems. We believe that God is here to give them a direction. You know, when, when we bake a cake, you're going to put that ingredient together. You, you name it, milk and the egg, yellow egg and wheat flour, then you mix everything. After mixing everything, you can't find where the egg is, where the wheat flour is, and that's what the spirit of darkness wants to do with you. He wants you to get involved in that mess, in that confusion, and then you can't see anymore. You can't have a broad vision of what is going on. Therefore, don't despair, don't lose heart. You're going to watch this testimony right now, which will bring you insight and the understanding of where you have to stand about in order to master your problems. Don't let your problems master you. You have to be in charge. You have to be the general of this situation. We're going to see you just after the testimony with a prayer to bless your life. My name is Peter Schoppe. I come from Tembisa. I have a catering business. Before I met Jesus, my life used to be a hell. But that situation at home used to make me to, to go and drink. My worst moment is that when I saw that the situation was too much, I decided to kill myself. I took the, the cleaning materials, I drank them. Someone invited me to the Universal Church. My life started to change when I started making chain of prayers. Today, my life is changed. I'm no longer drinking, I'm no longer smoking. Uh, now I am a happy man. Are you sick and struggling to get healthy? Do you suffer with financial problems? Are you struggling to find employment? Then call our helpline on 0861 330 320. That's 0861 330 320. And speak to our trained, helpful and empathetic staff to help you today. They are waiting for your call right now. Come and join us for spiritual therapy every Sunday. But the guy, do you have one of these in your house, one trash can? How many of you put a trash like this inside of your bedroom? Banga kilapa guna bafagu toti e bedroom lapla lakon. Hey, well. Tetanam. Kulman pe. Hey, well, busulu bus, tetanam. How many of you have a trash can inside of your bedroom? Ubani onum komoga joti parate rumi la pala kon. Nobody. Ageko. Kuten. Why? Because it smells bad. Gobianu gaga cool. Yes or no? And besides that, if you, if you put a trash can inside of your bedroom, you can get sick. Your children can get sick. And they smell will be too much. So what do you do with your trash can? Where you put it? Hey, well. Tetanami. Outside. Why you put outside? Because your house must be clean. Very good. If you forget the trash inside your kitchen one night, 
When you wake up in the morning, you go. You call your wife, hey, Koskas. What's going on here? Ah, it's the trash. Ah, When you get it, hey, tata. put outside. Hey, tata. Hey, chair. Your life is the same. You can't keep trash inside your heart. Because otherwise you're going to get sick. We must learn today to forgive. Because that's what Jesus died for. To forgive our sins. So you have to forgive your enemies. Because if you don't forgive, you are going to keep trash inside your heart. And you are going to get sick. And that sickness will go to your wife, will go to your son, to your grandson, to your great grandson. And I'm sure you're not prepared to see them suffer. Come and join us for spiritual therapy every Sunday. Are you sick and struggling to get healthy? Do you suffer with financial problems? Are you struggling to find employment? then call our helpline on 0861-330-320. That's 0861-330-320. And speak to our trained, helpful, and empathetic staff to help you today. They are waiting for your call right now. Workers' Prayer God can do the same in your life regardless of how big your problem is. What you have to do, therefore, is to say to yourself, enough is enough, I am going to make it, I'm going to stand against my problems. Don't allow the main wagon of the train to be the problems and fears you have. Glass of water at hand, let us talk to God. Moment of prayer. Our Lord and Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, I pray and I bless this glass of water now. And when this person drinks, the spirit of depression that is ruling over the life of this person, perhaps for years, is going to live right now. I determine this depression, sadness, whatever is confusing and bringing fear into the heart of this person is going to be decimated, destroyed right now. So we bless this water and I pray for President Jacob Zuma. I bless his life, my Lord. I pray for our nation, for the members of the parliament. I bless the mayors, the premiers of South Africa. Give them health, give them strength. I pray asking you, my Lord, for peaceful elections. I bless our country so that we are going to go to a higher level still this year, in Jesus' name. I pray, my Lord, for the workers, for the lawyers, doctors, for the cleaners, for the housewives, for the students. Let all of them be touched by your power. In Jesus' name, amen. Regardless of the circumstance that is trying to confuse and surround you, don't give up. God is with you. And do not allow anyone to convince you otherwise. Believe in that and go ahead with all boldness and strength that God is with you. Have a great day. God bless you. We're going to be together once again tomorrow with one more Worker's Prayer. Until then, bye-bye. Worker's Prayer.